crew. So we have our first gig for our first show. Uh, we're gonna go to a place called the Boris Manor Bed and Breakfast. Let's move. Any questions? So what kind of scary stuff is happening over there? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Uh, let's see, we have reports of cold spots, voices. Voices? I don't like the sound of that. And full body apparitions. Bring it on. All right, you guys, let's do this. One, two, three! Sunshine! To start out, we wanted to meet with the owners, Beatrice Boris of Boris Manor Bed and Breakfast. Beatrice, thank you so much for having us here. We're just thrilled. Well, I appreciate you coming because this is something that we've wanted to do for a long time. Well, go ahead and tell us about the house. Well, this manor has been in my family for centuries, and for the past about 150, 200 years, it's been abandoned. And I was just thrilled when I got some money from a settlement, and I decided to just live out my dream and make this into a bed and breakfast. And so I got my two nieces to come and help, and they've just been great, and it's just been a wonderful experience. So we understand some scary stuff has been happening here. Yes. What kind of scary stuff has been happening here? Well, I have actually heard little voices here in the kitchen that sound like children. And some patrons, when they've come to eat breakfast here, have said that they've seen a little girl sitting here in this closet. In the hallway, actually, once I was walking down and I felt this great rush of cold coming from I don't know where. And it was just freezing and I couldn't move. But in the bedroom, actually, the master honeymoon suite, we did hear tale of a story. A husband actually bought this house as a present for his bride. And on the very first night after being married, he brought her and took her to the honeymoon suite, locked the door, and then killed her. She was found pretty gruesomely murdered. I won't go into the details, but one of the construction workers during our renovation said that he got his finger slammed in the door when he was working alone on a night shift, just on his way clearing out. So that's why we brought you guys here. We want to find out what's going on and, and see what we can do. Great. Well, we'll see what we can come up with. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're excited. All right. Good luck. Thanks. After sending the owners away, it was lights out. All right. We're recording. So I have got our night vision camera ready. Tiff? EVP. Great. Adam. High frequency thermal camera. Great. Brandon. Analysis module now synced with heat seeking spirit finder. Great. We are ready to roll. Let's, Let's get this done. Okay, you guys. This is the hall where apparently they felt some cold spots.
Hey, I'm getting some really strong readings in this area. Adam, let's move this table. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have strong readings here, because this is actually the only place in the house where they've had full body apparitions of small children, and have heard a lot of voices. So, keep looking here. Oh, there's something down there. There's something down there. Yes, it's strong casing us. Yeah. obvious that our evidence was somewhat tainted. So, after purging the house of all contamination, we decided to give it one more go. Alright you guys, let's get one more EVP. See if we can get anything out of this house. Okay. EVP session, Tiffany, Mark, Brandon, Adam. It's about four o'clock. How did, how did you die? Why do you stay here? Where are you in the room? Can you give us a sign? Alright guys, I think we did the best we could. Let's wrap it up and look at it. Lights on. So, uh, we don't think we're really going to find anything because of the contamination in our investigation. So, we're going through it because we got paid. You know, Whoa. might as well. Adam, you got to hear this. Did you find them? No way. What? Despite all of our interferences, we were actually able to find something. Now, due to the amount of interference that went on during our investigation, we weren't able to find much, but we did find something. Go ahead, listen to this. Why do you stay here? Where are you in the room? Can you give us a sign? I'll give your mom a sign. 